Hello, dear judges. My name is Nikon Hassani, and I'm a 14 years old student in the ninth grade of Allah Taba Tabai School in Iran. And today I will be presenting you with the usages of nanotechnology in medical sciences and fields. So starting off, nanotechnology is one of the most well-known and famous sciences because it could play the leading role in sciences and fields such as tissue engineering or drug formulation and etc. And the reason to that is the basic interactions of a living organism happen at the molecular level. So nanotechnology could come in very handy in such fields. And moving on, according to the year 2018 statics, cancer is the second most lethal disease and it has been held responsible for taking 9.6 9 million lives worldwide. And as we know, chemotherapy is the most common way of treating cancer. But unfortunately, it's both very expensive and really has many horrible side effects. Today, we will be looking at some ways and some methods to improve the way and reducing the side effects. Uh, so allow me to demonstrate, demonstrate with a picture. Um, as you can see, um, when formulating a drug to cure any disease or cancer, we could say, there are many aspects that one person must pay a really careful and close attention to in order to make it work or be able to make something successful. But there are some more general aspects to it that we will be taking a look at some of them. So, for example, one of them is the size of the drug, the size of the molecule of the drug, which will differ from the disease we're trying to treat. Um, for example, one something that is really important is drug ratio, because uh, in the most cases, drugs are made of different compounds and the ratio of them must be balanced in order to, for the drug to work. And one more important aspect is the release method, uh, which is when we deliver the drug to the designated location, we need a method or an external method to release the potential of the drug into the intended location or the tumor, we could say. Uh, for example, using infrared or ultraviolet rays um, for some drugs, is the best and the most common way which usually activates their potential to do the thing they're supposed to. But there are many more ways um, of doing such. For example, using pH high or low compounds on the surface uh, of the skin to uh, activate the drug. Uh, and one more general um, aspect we will be taking care of is targeting. Uh, the drugs will differ according to the kind of disease or the kind of cancer even we're trying to treat. And the molecular and the compound will obviously differ according to what we are trying to treat. So one method um, other than these aspects that I've told you is known as nanogels. Uh, it's a really common method of it treating disease. Nanogel is a, well, obviously a gel which has the intended drug infused within it. So, and it's usually injected into the blood flow so it could reach the uh, designated location faster or more efficiently. Since nanogels are a very rich compound, they usually have a short activation time compared to other methods and they are very efficient. So they are the most general and the most efficient way of using uh, nanotechnology in medical sciences to, to, to treat disease. The next and the last method which we will be looking at is called gene delivery, which basically is using nanotechnology to change the subject's DNA, which was the cause of the problem and the disease in the first place. Uh, but it's a rather more unused uh, or uncommon uh, method since most subjects don't meet the needed criteria. But when met, 
it's a very um, efficient and a very good uh, method of treating special uh, disease such as cancer in some cases uh, and that wraps it up and thank you for your time and special thanks to my crewmate and my teachers for guiding me and thank you for your time i hope you stay safe and healthy and i hope for the coronavirus to leave the world as soon as possible